this is NJ Devil Fan 26, and as promised, this is my review of the Blackberry Storm. I've had the Storm for about a week now, and I've really had a long time to play with it in all of its cool and new features. Now, you have to keep in mind that the Storm is a phone, and on a phone, you want to have good call quality. I must say that the call quality on the Storm is absolutely fantastic on Verizon's network. There is absolutely no static on the line on, when I call someone, and the recipients have said the same thing about me, which is really amazing. Some have even said that it sounds like I'm talking to them over a landline. So Verizon and RIM did a great job on that. Another great thing about the BlackBerry Storm in all Blackberries is BlackBerry Email. BlackBerry Email is probably the best email application that you'll find on any mobile device. I personally think that it is better than the iPhones. That's just me, though. I haven't tried email on the G phone, but I've read reviews and I've heard that the BlackBerry email is still better than that. The great thing about the BlackBerry email is that it uses push technology to get your email straight from the server to your phone before your computer, which is really nice to have because you always have your phone with you. You don't always have your desktop or laptop with you. So that's a nice feature. Also, it organizes all of your emails fantastically. It organizes them by day and registers in full HTML. Some concerns I had with the phone is the touch screen. Now the touch screen on the Storm is a capacitive touch screen, which means that the Storm registers everything that you touch on it by taking in the electrons from your finger. Sort of like the G1 and the iPhone. Another thing that I had some concerns with on the Storm was that you have to actually push to click. So if you see here, I push, and you click. Now, some of you might be asking, well, how is that when it comes to texting? At first, it is kind of hard because I have never had a BlackBerry before, and I wasn't used to the whole sure type kind of keyboard and everything like that. But eventually I got used to it, and the sure type keyboard was actually pretty good. So let me open up a text message to you and demonstrate. <laughs> Go to Compose, and we open up a new text. Alright, so right over here you see the sure type keyboard. I'm gonna type in it. It's NJ Delphan26, and we'll compare that to the way that I type it in landscape mode. Now as you can see here, it only says, hey, this is N-K-D-R-C-I-L-D-S-N-2-6 because obviously nj 26 isn't in the dictionary. However, if you go to Options and you go to Custom Dictionary, you can put in any words that aren't built into the dictionary like NVM for Nevermind or BTW for By the Way, which is a nice feature. Let's get back to an SMS and try typing in landscape mode. You'll notice that when I put my finger over the keyboard, little blue thing highlights, which isn't very good because it doesn't really give you an accurate perspective of where your finger is, unlike the iPhone where the letter pops up on top of the letter itself, which really is a nice feature, and I hope that RIM integrates that into a new software update. So let's type A... Alright, so this I got, hey thud is NJ Delphan 26. Now because it was a full QWERTY keyboard and it just picked up any letter, which isn't very good because it doesn't really give you an accurate perspective of where your finger is. Unlike the iPhone where the letter pops up on top of the letter itself. Which really is a nice feature and I hope that RIM integrates that into a new software update. So let's type, hey... Alright, so this I got, hey thud is NJ Delphan 26. Now because it was a full QWERTY keyboard and it just picked up any letter, it allowed me to type NJ Delphan 26, which is a nice feature. However, both aren't extremely accurate, but as I said before, 
the sure type keyboard in portrait mode has seemed to work best for me. I can just type really quickly with one hand when I need to type a uh, quick text. Another great thing about the BlackBerry Storm that you won't find on any other BlackBerry except the new BlackBerry Bold on AT&T's network is the browser. The browser is amazing. It goes through Verizon's 3G Evdu network, which is relatively fast, and it registers in full HTML. It also supports Java, and JavaScript, and JavaScript pop-ups. Another neat thing about the Storm's browser is that it allows you to change the settings, so then it can tell the server, for instance, if I went to YouTube, I can make YouTube think that this is coming from either BlackBerry, Internet Explorer, or Firefox. So that's just a nice feature. The browser also supports some Flash, however, you can't watch YouTube straight from the YouTube's website. However, you can, you can download a YouTube app from it on crackberry.com. Let's go over to Media. Media is great on the Storm. It syncs with your iTunes, Windows Media Player, 